Welcome to the Met Office 10-day trends. The next few days are fairly straightforward. I know a bank holiday is approaching, but the weather is warming up, turning sunnier, and for most, it's going to be dry. Things get a bit more complicated during the long weekend. There's a chance we could see some changes, but uncertainty grows, particularly as we go into the early part of next week. Some scenarios have the warmer weather lasting. I'll have more on that in just a moment. First of all, let's get to the next few days because here's the big picture. A huge area of high pressure dominating across Scandinavia and allowing the winds to waft up from the southeast, bringing the warmer weather for pretty much all of us through Good Friday and Saturday. Notice, though, that there is some cooler air not far from the northwest of Scotland, and that's where the uncertainty lies. How quickly, if at all, will these weather fronts introduce the cooler and more showery weather? There's the chance for some wet weather on Easter Day across the northwest, and then this next weather system. Well, this is the big question mark as we go into next week. How will this low pressure influence our weather for Bank Holiday Monday and beyond? Again, more of that in just a second. First of all, let's get through the fine weather because most of us may just start a bit grey and murky on uh, Thursday, but then generally it's looking fine and sunny. And it will be warmer. However, notice the winds still coming in from the east. And so if you're on this North Sea coast, it will feel fresh again. Temperatures 10 or 11 degrees. But inland, well, easily 17, 18, a few places could reach 20 degrees on Thursday. Not much changes on Friday and Saturday, although that wind in the east should start to ease. We may see a bit more cloud in the northwest, but generally Friday and Saturday for most places looking fine, looking sunny with plenty of blue sky. UV levels are getting higher, so you will need the sun cream. And temperatures, well, will respond to that sunshine climbing day on day easily on Saturday. Up to 20 degrees, we could see 22, 23 in places. And with those winds easing in the east, even the east coast will start to warm up a little bit. Then the question marks start to arrive through Easter Day and Bank Holiday Monday. Will the sunshine hang on? Well, for some, yes, particularly in the east. And actually, the east coast will probably see its highest temperatures through Sunday and Monday because the winds are changing direction and it's in the west where those weather fronts we saw earlier bring an increasing chance of seeing some showers. This low pressure system, the one I highlighted earlier, just threatening to push in, bringing cloud and bringing outbreaks of rain. Now, there is quite a bit of uncertainty by the time we get to Monday on the position of this low and this weather front. Why the uncertainty? Well, for that, we need to head across the Atlantic and go back in time. I've come back to Good Friday now, and we're looking at North America because this area of low pressure is going to provide some intense thunderstorms and the potential for tornadoes over the next few days. And that is being driven by things high up in the atmosphere and the jet stream. And look at this drop down of the jet stream, driving south and then heading back further north. Now, that's quite a dramatic dip and it's driving quite a dramatic weather system. Why are we interested in that? Well, because it then will influence things downstream. Of course, the jet stream piles out across the Atlantic and the ripple across North America, how strong that is, will then influence the ripple further across the Atlantic and closer to home. And the position of the jet stream here will then determine where that low pressure system sits by the time we get to Monday. It's a bit like a rope, really, and you're giving it a, a little bit of a ripple, and that ripple then reflects downstream. But how hard you flick it initially really affects the shape of the rope and the shape of the jet stream further downstream. And that will have an impact on where that low pressure system is sitting. And the computer models are really a bit confused about exactly where this low will be on Monday. Let me show you a graphic to show that. Here's three different computer models with the different scenarios for Monday, with the rainfall amount on Monday, bank holiday, of course. And this is the uh, Met Office projection showing that there's rain across much of Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, rain pushing into Wales and Southwest England. So that's one scenario, which will be pretty soggy in the West. Other scenarios, though, other computer models, European model, the American model, don't really have that wet weather anywhere like as close to western parts of the UK. Notice all the while, though, that many central and eastern areas are staying dry on Monday. So, yes, for some, the sunshine will hang on. It's just a question of how far in that weather front gets. Beyond that, well, again, we're looking at that low pressure system, how that will control things through next week. And again, the position of the jet stream will be key. One scenario keeps that low pressure system up to the northwest. 
but other weather scenarios have it slipping further south because of that change in jet, because of what's going on across the United States. Now, if the low pressure is up to the northwest, this is the scenario through next week. We'll have winds mostly coming in from the west or the southwest. That will bring some showers and eastern areas uh, will see the best of any dry and bright weather. But if the low is just a little bit further south, and this is where a lot of the computer models are suggesting keeping the rain at bay largely, and that will bring the southeasterly winds, and that could provide some more warmer weather through next week. And at the moment, well, it really is just a bit of a toss-up between those two scenarios. But if we take a look at them both side by side, you can see there's not a huge deal of difference. A subtle shift in that low pressure will have a big impact on our weather next week. So yes, some fine weather to come over the next few days. As for next week, well, the message at the moment is most definitely stay tuned to the forecast. One of the best ways to do that is to follow us on social media.